This is, has been uh, a very interesting uh, debate and controversy. Uh, I think that there are uh, evidences that uh, uh, an infection like uh, COVID-19 could uh, actually mm, uh, highlight uh, some of the uh, features that characterize Parkinson in someone who may be at risk uh, to develop the disease. So there is some evidence uh, that you uh, that if you have uh, an underlying dopaminergic defect uh, and you suffer from uh, a moderate to severe inflammatory disease uh, you may uh, this may bring to light uh, uh, some of the uh, symptoms that would have appeared maybe a bit later in the course of the uh, disease itself so i refer particularly to the few cases uh, where uh, tremor, bradykinesia have appeared uh, within uh, uh, weeks or months uh, following uh, the COVID-19 infection. Uh, the debate was more about uh, if uh, the virus uh, would enter the brain and actually not only uh, maybe bring to light uh, to some of the manifestations of Parkinson, but rather even to uh, trigger neurodegeneration. I think we don't have a sufficient evidence yet that uh, COVID-19 uh, can actually enter in a significant uh, amount uh, the uh, brain stem and the cells uh, of the uh, nigrostriatal system. And it might be that the inflammation uh, could uh, potentially aggravate underlying neurodegenerative processes but uh, it is at the moment uh, seems uh, quite unlikely that, uh, that we will see a Parkinson pandemic uh, uh, in coming years. Uh, at least um, in these two years, uh, the number of Parkinson cases uh, uh, seems not to have increased uh, compared to previous years. So I expect uh, uh, that the number of cases stays pretty much the same. Uh, but rather that maybe during the infection time, uh, some of the symptoms uh, appear that would have uh, been that they are somehow being unmasked by the infection and inflammation that's a consequence of COVID-19.